in the last video we just added movement to this UFO sprite sheet and in this video I'm going to add a scrollable background layer so as this UFO moves uh, the background will move will scroll so I'm going to create here a new class mm, class and I'm going to name it back back Background, background layer and this background background layer will inherit from the cocos that layer that uh, scrollable scrollable layer yes so let's create an init method init and call the super classes init so super dot init okay first thing i'm going to load is this in the rest folder is this back background the jpeg file it's a nice uh, background image i just downloaded from the internet and its width is 300 I mean 3000 pixels and its height is 1500 pixels so it's a fairly huge image our view will be somewhere here okay so load this image I'm going to name it BG for background and with the cocos dot sprite dot sprite and give it the path to the file so it is in the rest folder and back back ground that jpeg background jpeg and for now i'm just going to add it to the layer so self that add the bg and also here I'm go going to create a BG layer background layer okay so what else we need we need a so-called scroller or a scroll scrolling manager so here after the two layers I'm just going to name it scroller scroller uh, okay equal to cocos that layer that scrolling manager here it is and to this scrolling manager I'm, I'm going to add the background layer and the UFO layer so scroller that add the PG layer and scroller that add the UFO layer and to the test scene instead of adding uh, to the test scene the UFO layer I'm going to add to the test scene the scroller I cannot type the scroller so let me test it although it won't work yet okay so ufo layer object has no attribute set view this is the first thing we need instead of inheriting from the cocos that layer that layer in the ufo layer class 
we need to inherit also from the uh, cocos.layer.scrollable layer. So cocos.layer.scrollable layer. Now let's test it. Okay, now we have the background, although it is in the wrong position and it's also not scrolling. Yeah. And yeah, here in the mover action, I'm going to set the um, scroller that set focus to self dot target dot x and self dot target dot y so this is the next step to always set the scrollers focus to the target the target is the UFO layer to target x and target y so now let's test it okay now it moves but it can move outside the bun the screen as you see this image is very large so let's solve this little problem with the uh, when the so that when the UFO goes to the edge of the screen the background stops scrolling so it will stop right here somewhere here okay so go back to the background layer and first of all I've <laughs> I just searched how to do this in the documentation, but I couldn't find in the docu documentation. So Cocos 2D Python's documentation, sometimes it's, it's very uh, misses many things. So it, I recommend you often go to the source code so if you're using PyCharm go to declaration and r rather read through uh, the whole source code so you can learn a lot from this and I find here that um, if px width is not defined then the layer will not limit the scrolling so we need to define the px width and the px height also. Here it also says if px width is defined, then px height must also be defined. Okay, so I'm going to define here the self.px px underscore width. And the px width, pixel width, is the uh, is the width of this background. So three hundred, uh, I mean three thousand pixels. So three thousand. And the self dot px underscore height is of course the height so 1500 pixels 1500 so now we define the, the px width or the pixel width and the px height or the pixel height so now let's try it okay it's still still not okay because I just tested all over what to do and I find find out that we need also to set the BG's position. So the 
image width divided by 2, so which is 3000 divided by 2, uh, 1500, and also set the, the height to uh, image height divided by 2, which is 750. And later uh, I'm going to change these values. But now for testing, as you see now, it, the background is in the correct. It starts here at 0, 0. And if I move the UFO, it stops crawling when the UFO reaches. the top or the uh, right side so the UFO can go to the top or to the right but the background stops and if you let's say it, if it goes to the left and it is in the middle it starts to scroll the background So instead of you using these values here, I'm just going to make it so bg.width integer division by 2 and bg.height and integer division by 2 and here just give it the bg width. And here the BG height. So in if you do this this way, you can load all uh, all size. Uh, I mean images with all sort of size uh, size, and uh, you don't need always to rewrite these numbers here. And it's okay. So as you see, the, it can also scroll diagonally. So Uh, I think in the next video I'm going to cover how to load a tiled map. So I've created already a tiled uh, map in the tiled map editor and instead of loading just a static background or it will be uh, much more useful load a map from an editor like the Tiled map editor. So until then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.